Oh, hello there. I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. I wish I could be bright and lively, but you know, I had my tooth out the other day, my molar. It's still kind of throbbing in the side of my face. So I'm not 100%, but I am still trying to put things out there as I go along, but maybe not with the enthusiasm I normally use. So welcome to my channel. For those of you who it's the first time, thank you for passing through. For returning subscribers, thank you for your support, for interacting with other um, subscribers, and just thank you generally for just sticking with me. Um, today I wanted to talk about the £500,000 that is being given to um, some projects for Windrush. Apparently it's a second annual year for Windrush. Let me just read this out. I got this from the um, .gov UK website, so it's authentic. www.gov.uk. <clears throat> it is the government website and what it says is the nation will pay tribute to the outstanding and ongoing contribution of the Windrush generation and their descendants on the 22nd of June 2020. Community group and local authorities across England are to receive a share of £500,000 to host events to honour the second National Windrush Day. Funding will support exhibitions, lectures, workshops on 22nd of June and beyond. There'll also be drama. There'll also be a football, um, a football team. Anyway, commemorative events and activities will place communities front and center of Windrush Day 2020 as the nation pays tribute to outstanding legacy of British Caribbean community. 49 projects across the country. I haven't written it all out. I'm just going to go quickly past this. 49 projects across the country to receive funding, um, a celebration of a youth football team, an exhibition with portraits and photographs, a theatre production, a 16-week intergenerational project and drama, and a touring exhibition. Now, don't you think that £500,000 would be best spent benefiting those people who lost their jobs, who've lost their homes. You know, why haven't they had some kind of award ceremony, either Brixton or w Brixton, where they settled, came in and settled, or Waterloo, where they came into the country, and have, you know, an award ceremony, even if it was to give each of them £10,000 each, but you're going to pay for portraits and exhibitions and that kind of thing while people who should be benefiting from it have lost their jobs, who can't get money, who don't get benefits. How the hell can anyone with a good conscience take £500,000 and not at least um, honour those people who have suffered because of the Windrush mistakes made of the government. I think the government has got their priorities wrong. You know, they've got a compensation scheme, you know, that's supposed to pay all these people, and because the people don't have the documentation, they're not being paid out, and yet they know these people are entitled to it. So therefore, we as descendants of Windrush should try and give something to them, I would have thought. And I'm hoping that there is one of these projects that is going to make awards to those people who have lost their jobs, who don't have any money, who are knee high in debt, to help them through. Because it's, it's making a mockery of the whole thing. What's the point with one hand saying, oh, we're putting you at the forefront and giving you £500,000? It's almost like it's hush money 
for these projects. They said, oh, great, we've got some money. Oh, yeah, we've got some money. Yeah, we can put this on and we can have this topic here and we can have this debate here and everybody can talk about Windrush. And the people, the poor people, who've lost their jobs and lost their homes are sitting there penniless. That's not right. It's not right. So I do hope that these projects, even if each one takes one person and says, look, this person lost his job, lost his home, lost his family. So we're here to give him £5,000 or we're here, whatever it is, but they have to get something because we know that the reason why they're not ha why they haven't got anything is because of bureaucracy it's because of red tape it's not because they're not entitled to it they have been denied jobs they've been de denied access to home not because they're not entitled but because of poor management of their affairs and because they didn't know they would need documents from way back that's really that is the story so all I'm saying is for those projects, you know, good that you're getting 500 grand. But I do hope that it's going to benefit those people who are struggling, suffering, go having mental problems because they don't have a penny and there's no one to help them. And that's all I've got to say. Bye bye.